Well, hello, welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. I'm Michael Mandel. And uh, who's the ampersand? The ampersand is right between us. And yes. ampersand. And uh, welcome. What's up? Welcome to the show. This is our Labor Day weekend televised program. The other bookend on summer. Yeah, that's right. Memorial Day, Labor that's right. Day. The season. This ends. is when kids go to school. Sunday. Back east. Uh-huh. After Labor Day. Yeah, it's so already back to school here. Right? Here they are. Because we have know. a different Labor Day, you know, because oh, for yeah. us, the last two or three weeks has been cooler than most of the rest of the summer. Yes. It's Don't worry. under 100. We'll get that Indian summer kick at the very end. Oh, uh, yeah, which is uh, wonderful. Now, so, uh, we yes. have a lot to talk about and things going on this weekend, but to get us in the mood. I kind of pre-made this stuff. What do we have this? This is a picture, which is called... <laughs> I was going to make the corn and oil because I wanted to use... Falerna, but it turns out we did corn and oil uh, in June, and uh, there's a drink based on that, which is called the uh, Royal uh, Bermuda Yacht Club. That's what it's called. So the that's club. what we're well, doing. The, the noun is club. It's not the drink. It's just the yacht club. Yacht club. So oh, we have a river. Do a. I already made this. A teaspoonful of this. Cointreau. Cointreau. Velvet Falernum. It should be in everybody's uh, kitchen uh, to Liquor use cabinet. for stuff. And uh, uh, a quarter ounce of that. Um, what else? Oh, three quarters of an ounce of limes. It's fresh lime juice. And two ounces of, it says Barbados rum in this particular book, but it just says age. This has been aged 12 years, so it should be good. So this is... Uh, yeah. We've this used is, this rum on the show before. This is this is Jamaican rum. Jamaican rum, uh, good old Appleton Estate, and already got ice cubes in here. Just pour that in, get it nice and cold. Uh, probably since it's a tropical drink, we should have ice in a glass. But if we had ice in a glass here, it would be called we, we melted have, ice. We have water. What do, you, what do you call melted ice? Oh, that's um, uh, seltzer. Hard water. That's hard water. That's soft, yeah. softened hard water. What do you call mm. dehydrated water? Uh, to be decided. <laughs> and so, so as, as Michael turn, gets the shakes. I have to do this for 20 seconds. Keep the camera right there. And you can, we'll, um, is his face red or is it, is it orange? We've got to figure that yeah, out. Yeah, I'm either red or orange. I'm so embarrassed to be with Michael that I'm actually orange. He's turning orange. But that's the new black, as the show says. Well, maybe maybe the orange will be in the new black. Yes. Now, Can you talk over this? Not very well. Uh, okay, I'll stop. So um, anyway, we're ready to pour. No, it's not cold enough. And now the Hats Chili Festival, you know, is going on right now, so I speak. All weekend long, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, up in Hatch, of course, celebrating Hats Chili. And, and what do you get when you put chili in a cocktail? Hot cocktail. Well, a cocktail tastes like chili, so why make it a cocktail? Just eat chili if you like chili. I went up to Hatch about a week or so ago and got my roasted green chili. Had lunch while I was up there at the Pepper Pot. Oh, by the way, the, the food, Pepper Pot. The Pepper Pot. The food's good at the Pepper Pot, and they give you a lot of it. Uh, the service is slow because they don't have enough girls working in there. Or boys. So it does or men. take a while for the food to arrive. And uh, here's these they're girls. Just, uh, they're just there for posing. That's the royal court, so the uh, Hatch Chili Queen. And with which they crown every year. There's more than I thought here. So it's, it takes place in a vacant lot out by the airport. Uh, Very exciting. It's not conducive to a Living. fiesta, really, but... Uh, yeah. It's okay. All that burnt chili, you want it out away from the yes. inside to burn. Oh, so we this is this. conducive for a fiesta. Mm, absolutely. It's an interesting color. This will put you in the mood. Oh, it's probably the lime. Mm, it's not as sweet as I expected. Too much lime. Too much lime. Hmm. But it's healthy. Fresh lime juice. That's true. Which of these are sweet? Falernum. Rum. Rum is a sweet. Rum. Falernum is sweet. You want to try more falernum? A little bit more. And um, besides the Hatch Everybody Chili Festival, uh, we have the Franciscan Festival of the Arts going on this weekend, too. And that's just south of town, south of uh, Mesilla Park, at the uh, Holy Cross Retreat House. Very nice uh, ambiance out there. What's that, about four miles south of uh, University? Yeah. yeah, South Main Street, really. And there's a bit, there'll be signs there. And there's plenty of parking out there. And that's uh, Saturday from 9 to uh, 5 yeah. and Sunday from 10 to 4. All kinds of art. All kinds of artists. Art is on sale. You can have lunch. Karen Courier there. might be there. She, she, she might often be. goes, so you can buy some of her gourds. Mm -hmm. or, or just call her. This is you better. like that better? Yeah, yeah. I do. 
I'm not like I don't like sweetie drinks, but something had to counteract that uh, lime oh, juice. Oh, that lime! Wow. Mm. Well, if we do this, the second half we'll put less lime in. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Everybody's so that's why tweak an orange uh, uh, lime. Lime, lime is lime. What the lime is going to do. <clears throat> now, also this weekend is the Harvest Wine Festival. That happens every year this time. Yes. And that's out at our fairgrounds, just uh, west of Las Cruces. And that's going on all three days. That used to be run by St. Clair, but I think they pulled out and were supposed to do their own. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know what's happening. <clears throat> if you're low on wine glasses, you should go there. We have uh, dozens of wine glasses from going for all the years we went. Now, the, I know when I started going there, it was $10 to get in. Now it's $25 to get in. And worth it. And then they had a VIP VIP. The VIP class. tent is great. It costs even more. Like right, but they give you matching foods and the wines are better. Ah. So, you know, spend your wad there. I mean, yes. what else do you, you have a whole year to save up? That's from 12 to 6, Saturday, and, Sunday, and, and Monday. Which is a holiday. Although so a bit on been Monday, there. it closes at 5. That's okay. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that's okay. So, yeah, Harvest Wine Festival is going on. New Mexico wines, local Las Cruces wines. Don't just go there and taste all the wines. Go there with a plan. Decide what kind of wines you want to taste and hit only those don't go to a place and just say let me taste one of everything well you I think don't they want give you that like six selections Nah, they nobody six is enough at any one place anyway you shouldn't you shouldn't drink you know there are over 20 different uh, vendors there uh, if you had six selections from every one of those you uh -huh. wouldn't make it to the third one you wouldn't do well, just the wine festival i went to that. back in the spring down uh, in la union uh you, you got for yeah, the entrance price you got uh, a, a bracelet and they for every everything you every that's time you it. got one they punch a bracelet. Right, that's a horrible wine festival. Not that I'm saying that it's horrible and you shouldn't go. Everybody should go to wine festivals, but this wine festival is way different. You just go and drink. You have a little band, they'll pour you a drink. Yes, exactly. And so uh, that's going on this weekend. Lots of things happening this weekend. There's a few more things uh, we'll get to at the end. Are uh, you going to get to this? Is that, that's not even on the oh, list. So you wanted to talk oh. about that. Well, yeah. This is tangerine lime flavored soda. I, I fell Caffeine into this free. same mistake two weeks ago. Signature brand. That's Albert's house brand. Yeah. But I thought, I thought it was just tangerine lime. It'd be lime. water, but it's not. Right. Like essence, but it's not. It's got the dreaded aspartame in it. Yes. So you and if you go to Walmart, they have the same deal with their own brand. You think it's thirst quenching, yes. but then it's full of that chemical. Yeah, and sodium benzoate. So you, you want to avoid the um, aspartame toxicity. That's true, because aspartame gives you aspartame <laughs> burgers disease. Uh, aspartame burger. Who knows what it gives you. It's not good. And so, but <laughs> if you want to eat, now we talked a lot about wine. Uh, yeah, you also have to eat. And if you want to have some good Japanese food, the place to do it is Okazuri. This would go good with that. Rum and Japanese food. And they, have a, and they have a brand new menu. And here's a new menu flying in. And uh, come on in. So Okazuri, we love Okazuri. These and menus are laminated. No, no, that's not the menu. Oh, that's not the menu. This that's the lemon. menu. That's their new menu. This is a new menu. added menu with additional selections that you won't be able to resist. They could do anything for you. As you remember from our past shows, yes. all their sushi is pretty good. They have a great uh, ceviche. Ceviche is always good. That orange chicken just blew me away. Orange chicken is yes. good, and and the non bun chicken is good too. So uh, yeah, check out Okazuri. It's on University Avenue in the Pan Am Plaza. And check out check out uh, Okazuri on the Facebook page. It's a good thing we have a cue card here. <laughs> it's a linear you know, just card. read the cue card. Why don't we have one of those TVs that tell us what to say, and you could write things on the TV? Oh, uh, oh yeah, teleprompter. Yeah. Now, uh, Toucan. You want to talk about that, Toucan right? Toucan Market. Sad news, they're closing. <sighs> it is front page news on both pages that matter in Las Cruces. The Sun News the and the Bulletin. Yes, they're closing. And yeah, those of you who have been weeks. here more than five years remember when it opened, because it opened like 12, 14 yeah, years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, they're going to still be getting in new produce as it goes along, but their shelves are going to be picked clean eventually. Uh, I'm hoping they keep the butcher block open. This sale will be on, I guess, after Labor Day. They have the highest quality of meats in town, probably. And please don't go there looking for deals on uh, liquor and alcohol and wine. You never because we want to get there first. <laughs> well, that's true. They, I mean, they could have great deals. That could well happen. So <clears throat> they're going out of business. So patronize them if you're on that side of Bye, town. Bye, Bob. 
Thank you for all you've done. You know, they came in with the theory that uh, Trader Joe's is never coming here. Yeah, that's true. And it didn't. And uh, they were trying to be like Trader Joe's, but it's really hard to do that. Right. Now, that, what I was sad about is they didn't really have any uh, organic produce the way Natural Grocers does. And Spr Sprouts has some organic but produce. Something you also would Too not care about would be they had the best meat. They had the, well, they had great chicken. Yeah, and their their beef is good. Yeah, two cows. Although you wouldn't know, grass-fed buffalo. So you don't eat that. We eat buffalo. No, I wouldn't. Why? It's because it's got four legs. Because yeah, it's, it's furry. Yeah, it's got yeah. a face. And uh, so does fish. <laughs> <laughs> you, actually, a fish has kissable face. It's a face because they got the loops, so go like that. And uh, so yeah, two can market is closing. Also, the club store is closing. Our, fav our favorite club store here in Las Cruces. Yes. They're going out of business. And uh, they've mm -hmm. been going out of business since our last show. Yes, and they will continue to go out of business until they sell everything off. Yeah, but he's um, got time. He's got time. Yeah, so but they're still having Taco Tuesday. Don't drag your feet. Get there and, uh, get you know, get some stuff really cheap yeah, and watch, have tacos. Watch, uh, <clears throat> watch Facebook on Tuesday night. I watch that show often. Do you? Yeah, Facebook. What? Yeah, uh, right now everything in store is fifty percent off. Now last week they did a deal Tuesday night, sixty percent off of everything for like one hour. So watch Facebook Tuesday night at six o'clock, and because they're, they're going to go live from the store, live on Facebook, and new deals may be announced. And they're open till eight o'clock Tuesday only. And if you haven't gotten your fire pit yet, actually they're the cheap. They, they got a few left. Out? They run out. Four left. Four left. Four left. There's four left. As yeah. of yesterday. Thursday. Rather, whenever that was. So yeah, so club stores leaving, toucan leaving. Oh, watch for six o'clock Taco Tuesday. Oh, <clears throat> now it's not gonna be so empty. Now Sears hasn't said they're closing, but if you have you been to Sears, it looks like a store that's going out of business. I none go of to the, Sears twice a week. None of the none of the uh, cash registers are functioning anymore. You have to make all your purchases in shoes. How often do you go to Sears? I was there yesterday. You go shopping, oh, don't you? I was there you? this week. We go there for our health walk. Yeah, uh, so Sears. It's like it looks like a store that's going out of business. Also, Sears is not necessarily closing, although it should be. But Mark is just uh, well, positing that idea yeah. that it probably is. Well, Sears bought Kmart and they went out of business, so I assume Sears actually is Kmart next. bought Sears. <laughs> oddly What's enough. the difference? Yeah. And I've been Cousin. in Pennies too. Have you been in Pennies? We go there all the time to get to Sears. It looks like a flea market. They got rid of all the housewares and they put rack and rack and rack of of bargain clothing items. It looks like a, looks like a flea market I've never in, been there. in there. Their housewares section. Yeah. We just go through the clothing section. They actually have some nice shirts there. They do. They do. I mean, uh, and another thing, all the cash registers are closed in pennies except three. Yeah, I have to buy, make your purchases in shoe department. Well, there's four doors to JC Penny, and, and that's where the line. cash registers are. Uh, the customer there's service no desk is closed. Well, if there's no customers, they don't have to give them service. And uh, so he, customers have to stand in line at one of the two or three available cash registers. Don't worry. There's not that many lines. No, the, there yeah. was a line with 15 deep the other day. You are because some weird guy. Any. You are some weird guy. I was I've there. never seen a line more than two deep. And that's not too deep. No. no. 15 deep because the cash register was closed in this department, closed in that department. Oh, you know, this gets really good at the bottom, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's getting good. So, I don't know. Tears and pennies, I guess they're trying to stay alive. Are they? Uh, Are we ready for a break so we can stay alive? Okay. Let's take a break. We're going to take a break. And we'll see what we can whoop up here. We'll see what's next. We'll right. mix some things together. Right see here like. on Double Talk. everyone is having a sale but there is only one sale that gives you wholesale prices and clearance savings on quality merchandise it's the club store outlet in las cruces it's merchandise from stores like walmart target sears sam's club and costco but there is no membership fee and the prices are below wholesale and up to 95 percent off the retail indoor and outdoor furniture quality rugs housewares small appliances bed and bath non-perishables we're open seven days a week 
Come in today and see what you can find. 910 North Telshore, next to Outback Restaurant. Buy more, save more. See you there. Mark Goldstein, the safe money guy, at 575-556-2472, to learn about innovative strategies now available to help you grow, protect, and preserve your money and financial future, regardless of market conditions. Horizon Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at horizongranite.com. Call us at 575-650-3180. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. Come to Tacos El Borrego de Oro in Las Cruces. We are celebrating $1 Taco Tuesdays. Come enjoy authentic Mexican food for the whole family. Bring the family to Tacos El Borrego for $1 Taco Tuesday and Flauta Thursdays. We are back. You're watching Double Talk right here on the Las Cruces channel. We're going to... What did I just pour in here? Oh, I didn't want to pour that. The one with the lid open, right? Yeah, I don't want to do that. You don't want to pour that? No, I don't want to pour that. Okay, put that there. You want to pour this? Yes. This other kind of rum that we're using, this white This is rum. a Cruzan rum from St. Croix. Mm. I've been, the islands, I've been to St. Croix. Well, these are both from the islands, aren't St. they? St. Croix, is, they're all from the islands. <laughs> That's the whole thing about rum. The rum, it's yeah. Wherever you Puerto grow, Rico, wherever Cuba. you grow sugar. It's always a rum place. Yeah. Hawaii. So, maybe this will work better. Well, the last one, the Velvet Falernum. Which we fixed it, it was, it was really good. There we go again. Don't give up on your drinks. I wish I knew sign language. Well, they don't know sign language, so you could say anything. I saw that. <laughs> they blur that out on yeah. the Colbert show. <laughs> yes, they do. Also, they put things in front of your mouth when you say. When you say the a certain word. Unless it's a Comedy Central late at night and they're doing a roast and everybody's swearing. Oh, then, it's, then it's okay. They're all swearing, yes. Because you have to show it's your... It's after 11 o'clock. You, you have to show your ID. And so let's see what this turns out. Okay, so what's next? Do you have well, a our Crayling design resigns? Resigns, yes. Our county clerk resigned inexplicably and without warning. He had one thing that it was hanging he over must his have done head. Something. It was uh, some sort of something to an employee. It's a personnel matter, so they're not saying what the whole thing so is about. So we don't know. This is why we drink. But he was doing a good so job. So much about politics that we need to drink over. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that yeah, works. And that you might want more filet. This, did, this, did, did, this had the right amount of stuff. How much filet was in this? It's not much. Uh, about a quarter of an ounce. Okay, that's not a bad drink. Yeah. You could drink that all day. <laughs> well, you could. <laughs> <laughs> so could Scott Krelling now because he's not going to be working. No, and, and so, you know. He was a good guy. I mean, he did a lot of stuff. I thought he was doing a good job. He, didn't he take over Lynn Ellen's job? He took over Lynn Ellen's job and appointed Lynn, Lynn Ellen as his under. Right, and now clerk. Lynn Ellen is now Lynn running has for taken the over county. Again. But he's running for the county commissioner. County commissioner. So there's a there's a job opening over in the county clerk's office. Probably in case anybody needs a job. The top job. Need a job? Nah. Maybe. I don't know if I'd want that job. Dave Zemuck is working for uh, Lynn election, Ellen's election board. Yeah. No. Sponsoring. Oh. So, oh, Scott, good luck. Hopefully, yeah. you'll do something else good. Sure. Become a politician. They're allowed to get away with stuff like you probably Well, did. he used to be a county mm -hmm. commissioner. Mm. Um, and when I, I worked with him, I worked with Scott on... Uh, what movie? When I was working on the, uh, in a congressional campaign, he was our webmaster. Wow, that must be... He had, he had little puppets and uh, did little web things, is that it? Webmaster. Puppet, puppet he, master. he worked for the video company. That, oh. Result, uh, what was it called? Good part of his resume. Let's yeah. go on to... Hey, it's dove hunting season. 
Uh, Starting? You know, st well, it starts started in September 1st. So whatever you do, don't dress like a dove. That's right. Now, how do you like oh. your doves cooked? Uh, they're usually good in a good chicken soup. Mm -hmm. um, how, do you, how do you like them? Same way I like my squab. Dead? Uh, you know, lightly, first they're lightly killed. Lightly killed. And then lightly sauteed in yes. butter and, or whatever. There's not a lot of meat on a dove, you know, it's just the breast and no. that's about it. But you um, can't eat them like you can eat an orlatan, right? Okay. Ortol an ortolan, those small little uh, birds that are from Italy. You just hold them by the beak and okay. eat them. Like a hummingbird. Yeah, that's how I eat my hummingbirds. I, I like sauteed. But you got to be able to catch them. Sure. Well, I like sauteed hummingbird tongues <laughs> uh, cooked in, in honey. Is that your diet? <laughs> oh, it should be. It should be. So, yeah. Dove hunting. Elk hunting is apparently started because our friend uh, Kenny is out elk hunting, and that lasts a month. How about Tom? Didn't he go out? And Tom's going in, well, it's almost September, and it is September mm -hmm. today. So, yes, he's going this week. Okay. That's good. So, now, just a warning for all the elks. Tom will be in his car and be able to shoot from there because he's got a medical waiver. Oh, so waiver. Don't, don't put yeah. antlers on your yeah, car. Yes, don't put antlers <laughs> on your car. Um, hey, Day's Hamburgers, you know, they're downtown. They're downtown uh, this, legend, really. Uh, if you didn't go to Day's when it was near the gin mill, remember that? In those days, it was just a place for the people who worked in the cotton, cotton mills gin. and they moved into the city years ago. They actually do make good greasy burgers. I mean, it's like, and you know, thin, what's thin, that burger place on Madrid? Steam? Burger Hut. Burger Hut. Butter, no, burger. burger Hut. No, I can't right? call something else. And anyway, uh, they get a good. a good green chili hamburger if you like that sort of thing. They're good. So the reason we're talking about them is something that peeves both of us. The amount of work that's being of done on the road. Slow construction. That you know, street right in front of the, that you so see there is it's, torn up completely. It's, they're, it's ripping up everybody's business. I mean, Zafiro's has been, you know, backed up with stuff. Every restaurant downtown is having problems. Rosie's, Cantina, uh, Diner. I can't wait to see Dragonfly. how it's going to be when we have the road going in both directions and then crisscross traffic. It's going to be crazy. And then they'll decide it doesn't work and they have to go Put it back. Change it all back. But you know, it gives work to construction worker owners. Yes, it does. I mean, it gives work to the workers, but it gives money to the people who own the construction companies. I just hope they're not going to Just a be, word to the wise. Not, I hope they won't be putting in these damn raised medians that the, that are so popular. Of in, course you know there's raised medians. There's already raised medians at the southern part of the downtown mall where it's going them. to split up. We don't need we them. We do. How else do you need to, to get your transmissions fixed? You know, <laughs> your, your chassis gets ripped up. Yeah. If you ever look at the side of any of those medians, if there are any black marks on it, you know that Cars somebody is driving. screwed up. They're road hazards. And we don't need them. It just increases the cost of the project. Yes. You know, somebody's getting rich besides the contractors and all these medians. I'd like to find out who. The contractors. No, besides That's that. That's enough. No, besides oh, that. Do you, mean, do you mean it's filtering back into party lines? Yeah, somebody's well, getting rich off these medians. We haven't done the research, we'll but back. we'll get somebody from the Washington Post to do the research and get back to you on that. Yes, we will. Because it's very serious here. It's crazy. Right in town, yeah. It's crazy. It's totally crazy. So, Day's Burgers. No. Those are good. Several, oh. We lost several people recently. It's very hot out. We're going to report on that. Now, that actor may not be um, really? recognizable to a lot of people. That's because that's not his hair, is it? His name is Beeson Carroll. I don't know, Michael. Is oh. that your real hair? Yes. How could it? Yeah. Well, why would I? Who choose to have fake this? hair like yeah. that? Uh, that's Beeson Carroll. Uh, he, he played uh, Colonel Penobscot on MASH. He was the boyfriend of uh, Hot Lips. And who in this room or in this television public would know that except you? Except me, because I worked with him on a pilot for a TV series called Palmerstown USA. You know what you should have done? With one Michael J. Fox. You, you should have brought in the, the letters that you two shared with each other. And Palmerstown USA was a series written by Alex Haley. That's what he did after Roots. Oh. And the series only lasted a season, I believe. But anyway, Beeson Carroll was in that. I'm relaxing while you tell the story. Now, we also lost a TV uh, legend that I worked with by the name of Chuck, Chuck McCann. McCann. Chuck McCann had his own children's show for years, and uh, he also had a starring start in the movie called The Projectionist. I worked with him on an episode of Tales from the Dark Side. I've seen your resume. Where he played a stand-up <laughs> comedian and, Which and mimic. Is. He is a pretty he is. funny in a childish he is, he is way. A funny, exactly. I mean, look at that smile. Yeah, so yeah, we lost him. And uh, again, he's not a real famous guy, but to, to those who knew him, 
Well, they he's famous. Him. He's fa famous for his uh, uh, shoes. He had a shoe line. Now we also lost a couple of big people big. Th this week. Well, she was a little like heavy. Neil Simon, famed playwright. He's a giant in the field. He's a giant in the field. He's the uh, as the theater on Broadway named after him. Star. I, I was in a Neil Simon Eric, play once. He remembers that. Yeah. Well, he would if he were alive. He'd I, say, I remember when Mark was yeah. in one of my plays. I called him. I said, Doc, because you called him Doc Simon. Yeah. And uh, Doc, uh, how's the show? He says, Fine. You're Is that a good the one job. you did with Dave and Alice? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, yes, exactly. Yeah. Now, also, who else died? Anybody? Yes, Aretha Franklin died. Oh, yeah, John and, McCann. Uh, she had her burial, uh, I don't know what day Friday. this is. Uh, yeah, she Yesterday. had it Friday. Yeah, and John McCain, of course, died, and he'll be buried sometime next week. He's got to stay a whole week in that coffin. It's oh. so confining. Uh, it's claustrophobic. Yeah, I know. Now, there's a couple of plays to see this weekend. We're back to things to do this weekend. Oh, we are. We've got the short plays that the kids are doing, that the adults are doing, that the kids wrote. The middle school plays. It's called middle school plays. Over at middle the gin, school. the old cotton gin there on Compress Road in Adley. Dave Hadley. Edwards is an actor there, and uh, the, Brandon the Brown amazing Brandon Brown as director. I heard the great fun. Uh, I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that? Are my, you making that up? My uh, cook said it was. No, you read my cook said yes, it was. Yes. yes. On the other hand, indoor outdoor. I, is that coming up? That is a, a riot. That's a great play. A girl it's pretending wonderful. to be a cat. No, she's not pretending to be a cat. It's called acting. Oh, you've never oh, done that, so you wouldn't cat. know that. She is a cat. She is That's a what cat. acting's about. You are the cat. You're not pretending to be a cat. She's a cat, and she's a great cat. I see. And there's, there's it's uh, the most wonderful mix of really cat emotions and human emotions that I would grant a cat. If she's such a great cat, how many fur balls does she hork up? She only uh, hawks up one. But if she were a cat, I'd adopt her. <laughs> and so right. should you. I bet you would. Now, also coming up, uh, there's a free screening of a movie at the Rio Grande Theater. And they're showing Stand and Deliver. Now, that's Wednesday night. This coming Wednesday. Is Saturday. that about going to school? It is about going to Who school. Who wants to watch? You know, school is starting. And the first thing you want to do with, now that school started to go see a movie about a school. This film made a big star out of Lou Diamond Phillips. And uh, it is a really good movie. That, that's him right that's there. That's him. Lou Diamond Phillips. Edward Olmos plays the were math you, teacher. You, you weren't in a movie with Lou Diamond Phillips? No, I wasn't. Were you in with Lou Ruby Phillips? Eddie, Eddie Olmos, no. No? Lou uh, B. Turquoise Phillips? Phillips, Milk and Magnesia, maybe. Yeah, well, we probably needed one. <laughs> yeah. And, and so, um, anyway, stand and deliver 7 o'clock, so, the Real Grand Theater, Wednesday night. And with that, we're about out of time, aren't we, Michael? Yes, we are. So go to Toucan, go to... Uh, go to Toucan. Go to the... Uh, Club store, Club while store. you still can. Yep. Th these are opportunities that you shouldn't pass up. See you next week. Maybe go to Sears and Penny. Actually, maybe you see us. Well, Sears, you don't want to go to Penny. The lines, the lines are so long, they're, running, they're losing business, right? Is that what you're saying? Shoplifters are just running out the store. They got their shoplifter.